During the ferocious Battle of Britain between August and September of 1940, there was plenty of bravery and sacrifice. One such act occurred on the decisive day of September 15, 1940, during the raid on the city of London. Ray Holmes, a young Royal Air Force fighter pilot tasked with taking down enemy bombers, went above and beyond the call of duty defending his country. After running out of ammo, without blinking, the RAF pilot rammed his Hawker Hurricane into a heavily armed Dornier DO-17 that was on its way to bomb Buckingham Palace. He succeeded, sacrificing his aircraft to take down the German bomber. His action became one of the most well-known cases of aerial ramming during World War II. Ray Holmes' name would become a synonym of British patriotism for being willing to sacrifice himself in the name of his country. After taking over Poland with the help of the Soviet Union in 1939, Hitler and the German High Command turned to the West to avenge the humiliation that Germany had to endure for more than a decade after signing the one-sided Treaty of Versailles. The German army, the Wehrmacht, swiftly took France before the French could blink and put up an effective defense. It was 1940, and after trying to negotiate a very reasonable peace with the British people, Hitler decided that there was no other way to secure the Western frontier than by invading the UK and forcing Winston Churchill to surrender. During August and September 1940, Germany would try to wipe out the British defenses to initiate Operation Sea Lion, an amphibious assault on British shores. On September 15, 1940, during the Battle of Britain's climax, Ray Holmes, from the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve, was flying with the 504th Squadron trying to repel enemy bombers from penetrating into the heart of London. His team spotted a formation of three Dornier DO-17 bombers of Kampfgeschwader 76 that had managed to get past British anti-air defenses. At more than 4,000 meters from the ground, a ferocious battle began. When Ray Holmes, known by his mates as RT, got close to one of the bombers, he was fired upon by the flamethrowers of one Dornier DO. However, at 4,000 meters, the weapon was useless, and Holmes' windscreen only got covered in oil. When the oil cleared away, he barely had a second to react and avoid crashing into the enemy aircraft. After a successful roll, Holmes poured his machine gun into the second Dornier, causing a crew member to bail out. The German's parachute got stuck in Holmes' starboard wing before sliding off. As the firefight raged on, Sergeant Holmes saw that they were close, too close, to Buckingham Palace. The enemy was going to bomb it, and he had to stop it no matter the cost. Holmes quickly climbed his Hawker Hurricane ahead of the German bomber to make a head-on attack, but he realized he had run out of ammo when he was about to shoot. The enemy aircraft was severely damaged, and Holmes concluded that only one option was left to destroy it before it reached Buckingham. In the book Battle of Britain by Matthew Parker, Holmes recalled, quote, As I fired, my ammunition gave out. I thought, hell, he's got away now. And there he was, coming along, and his tail looked very fragile and very inviting. So I thought I'd just take off the tip of his tail, so I went straight at it along with him and hit his port fin with my port wing. After the impact, Holmes Hawker immediately stopped responding and went into a vertical dive. He bailed out, and during the adrenaline-filled seconds that followed, he briefly saw the German Dornier going down without its tail near the Victoria tube station. When he was interviewed decades later by members of the Battle of Britain Monument, RT recalled what he thought instants before charging the enemy aircraft. Quote, There was no time to weigh up the situation, his airplane looked so flimsy I didn't think of it as solid and substantial. I just went on and hit it for six. I thought my aircraft would cut right through it, not allowing for the fact that his plane was as strong as mine. Sergeant Holmes was then hailed by the press as a war hero for saving Buckingham Palace. After landing successfully, he kept fighting until the end of the war. In 1989, Ray Holmes published his autobiography, Sky Spy, where he shared his aviation experiences and the actions that made him a war hero. In 2004, 64 years after ramming his aircraft into the German bomber, the remains of the Hawker Hurricane RT piloted during the Battle of Britain were excavated. Holmes himself had the chance of watching the aircraft's joystick that was set to fire mode. One year later, in 2005, Sergeant Ray Holmes passed away. 
During a military commemoration, Air Vice Marshal Barry Newton, Honorary Inspector General of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force, said, quote, Sergeant Holmes deserves the highest praise for his courage and determination. It is fitting that the date of September 15th, when he slammed his hurricane into that Dornier, has now come to be known as Battle of Britain Day and has been commemorated every year since. <laughs>